two coins will be three x. Three x because three. given that the number of rupees two coins will be three times the number of rupees five coins, and given that we have total one sixty coins. Number of five coins rupees five coins is x. Number of rupees two coins is three x. Then what will be the total number of coins? Total number of coins is equal to one sixty. Then what is the number of number of rupees one coins? Is equal to what? How many rupees one coins will be the? How many rupees one coins will be the total one sixty are the? Five rupee coins x, two rupee coins are three sixty three x. So what is the number of rupees one coins? Hmm. 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 Total we have one sixty. Number of two rupee coin three x. Number of five rupee coin x. So how many are the one rupee coins? Adikesh. Then forty. Forty. How? How do you get forty? How can you say that? One three x plus x equals one sixty. Three x plus x equal to one sixty. How it so? Total number of coins is one sixty. That means together with the rupees one, rupees two, and rupees five is one sixty. Not x plus three x. X plus three x means only the sum of rupees five coins and rupees two coins. One sixty is the sum of three types of coins: one rupee, two rupee, and five rupee. So, how many will be? How many coins will be one rupees one coins? And three one sixty minus three x plus x. Yes, one sixty total is one sixty. From that we will subtract rupees five coins and rupees two coins. Then you will get rupees one coins. Understood? So it is equal to one sixty minus four x. Rupees one coins is one sixty minus four x. Now we have. X five rupees five coin. What is the amount of amount of rupees five coins? Five x. Five x. Five into x. Then amount of amount of rupees two coins is six x. Two into three x. Three. Six. Good. Now, uh, amount of amount of rupees one coins is equal to amount of one sixty minus sixty minus four x into one. That is one sixty minus four x. Up to this, okay, all of you. Any doubt? Hmm. Okay. Now, what is the total amount with us? The total amount is one sixty. Ah, 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 ah. No. Three hundred rupees. Three hundred. Total amount is rupees three hundred. We have rupees three hundred total. So, which means five x plus six x plus one sixty minus four x equal to three hundred. Total amount. Total amount means five rupee coins. All the amount of five rupee coin plus amount of two rupee coin plus amount of one rupee coin, which gives three hundred. So five x plus six x plus one sixty minus four x equal to three hundred. Now you can do find the value of x. Find x. Seven x equal to three hundred minus one sixty. X equal to find the value of x. One forty divided by seven. X equal to one forty divided by seven. So x equal to twenty. X equal to twenty. 
So we got x equal to 20. Therefore, number of rupees 5 coins. Therefore, number of rupees 5 coins, number of rupees 2 coins, number of rupees 1 coins. Find. Number of rupees one coins, rupees two coins. It's very important question. Mark it. The previous one also. Denominations of bank we have done now. These questions are very important. Ma'am, the number of five coins. Hmm. Five coins is twenty. Hmm. Hmm. Number of uh, two coins is three into twenty sixty. Hmm. Two rupee, there are 62 rupee coins. Then the one number of coins. Mm. one coin is uh, uh, one, uh, 4 into 60 is equal to 240. Mm. 240 minus uh, mm. 160 is equal to 80. 80. There are 80 rupees one coins. Read the question and answer once, all of you. And ask if any doubt, ask. It's an important question. Write and study today itself. Write two times. Writing means don't copy. Do. Read the question and do twice. Ma'am, I can see anything on the board. Huh? What? I can't see anything on the board. I can't you... see anything. Who's this? Fadil. Alvin. Fadil. Ad Fadil. Fadil. Others, can you see? Can you see the board, yes, others? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Maybe Fadil, your, your network problem because others can see here also there is no problem with network. Okay, ma'am. Next, next question also, I think you have written the question, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Read, Amaljit, read the question. Yes, ma'am. Ah. of an essay competition decide that the winner in the competition gets a prize of rupees 100 and a participant who does not win gets a prize of rupees 25. The total price distributed is 3000. Hmm. Find the number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. Okay. There is an essay competition. There are 63 participants. And those who wins will get in rupees uh, 100. And they are giving some consolation prize. Or uh, as participation uh, uh, prize, they are giving 25 rupees. Those who participant, all the, for all the participant also, they are giving 25%, 25 rupees. And for the winners, gets 100 rupees. Okay. Those who are not winning will get 25 those who wins the essay competition will get rupees 100. And the total price money distributed, total price money distributed is 3,000. Okay. And uh, find the number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. Total number of participants is given. It is 63. Okay. So 
let us we need to find the number of winners so let us take let x be the number of winners let x be the number of winners let x be the number of winners number of winners then total number of participants total number of participants equal to 63 so what is the uh, number of participants who are not winners number of not winners is equal to 63 minus x 63 minus x not winners is equal to 63 minus x now what is the prize money given to winners 100 100 prize money given to a winner given to a winner is equal to rupees 100 therefore total prize money total prize money for winners there are x winners so total prize money for winners total prize money for winners is 100x 100x 100 into x 100 into x or it is 100x rupees 100x total prize money for winners is 100x now prize money for no it's not prize money money for non winners money for non winners equal to how many non winners are there 63, 63 minus x so money for non winners 63, 63 minus, minus x, x into how into many we are they are giving into 25 into 25 so 100 x is the money for winners and 63 minus x into 25 is the money for non winners and how much money they are distributing total amount of money distributed is Hmm? Total, uh, total amount distributed distributed equal to three thousand. Total amount of money distributed is equal to three thousand. Therefore, therefore, by the given, we have. therefore we have 100 x plus 63 minus x into 25 equal to 3000 now find x this is a linear equation find x 100 x plus 63 into 25 minus 25x seventy-five x equal to seventy-five x equal to ma'am hmm. ma'am Mm. And x equal to nineteen. Nineteen, nineteen. Correct. What is seventy-five x equal to? What at twelve? At twelve, Murali. Seventy-five x equal to. Do it. Ah, do it. Hundred x minus twenty-five x is seventy-five x. Mm. 
63 into 25 75x equal to what? Advait Sinop, 63 into 25 is what? Ma'am. Ma mm. Yes, yes, Advait. Ma'am, 1,500. Huh? 1,575. Okay, so what is 75x? 3,000 minus 1,575 is equal to? One thousand four hundred and twenty-five. One thousand four hundred and twenty-five. So x equal to one thousand four hundred and twenty-five by seventy-five equal to nineteen. Nineteen. X equal to nineteen. Therefore, number of winners is nineteen. Number of winners is equal to 19. Ma'am, can you show the previous step? It's okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, over all of you. Yes, ma'am. Now we have some more uh, uh, types of different uh, uh, different type of uh, solving the problems. The previous section we studied either in left side, left hand side, or in right hand side we have variables. Now next set of questions, both the right hand side and left hand side we have variables. So what we will do? Either we will collect all the variables to the left side or to the right side. Then solve. Okay, we will do some more problems. Mm. Right, solve. First one, 3x equal to, 3x equal to 2x plus 18. 3x equal to 2x plus 18. So what we will do first, we will transpose 2x to the other side, taking uh, uh, variables or constants to the either side of the equation are known as the term is transpose. 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 Taking uh, the equations to the either side. The term we are using is transposing. Okay. Transpose uh, the variables to the either side of the equation. It is known as transpose. Okay, so here we will take 3x minus 2x equal to 18. So what is then x? 18. X equal to 18. 1x equal to 18. So x equal to 18. Okay, now second question. Do 1 by 1. X equal to 18. Next one, 5t minus 3 equal to 3t minus 5. Third one, do one by one, 5x plus 9 equal to 5 plus 3x. Fourth one, 4 is set plus 3 
equal to 6 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 6 sec. No, not 6 sec. 6 plus 2 is 7. Fifth one. 2x minus 1 equal to 14 minus x. Simple questions. Vaishnavi, what is the second answer? T equal to? Negative 1. Negative 1. T equal to negative 1. Correct. If any doubt, ask others. One second, all of you listen to the board. All of you stop writing, listen. See, in the second question, we got T equal to negative one, isn't it? Hmm? Just we can check whether it's correct or not. And uh, here T equal to negative one is our solution. Okay. And what is the solution? Solution is the value which satisfies both RHS and LHS. We have uh, uh, studied a solution is the value that satisfies both RHS and LHS. Here we got T equal to minus 1 or negative 1. So let us write what is LHS here. LHS. LHS is equal to 5T minus 3. T equal to minus 1. 5 into minus 1 minus 3. So it is minus 8. Minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8. And RHS is RHS is 3t minus 5. That is 3 into minus 1 minus 5. That also minus 8. So here RHS equal to LHS. Okay. So here t equal to negative 1 is the solution of the given linear equation. Solution is the value which satisfies both right side and left side. Okay. If you want, you can check whether your answer is correct or not by substituting on both right side and RHS, right side and LHS. You will get the same value on both the cases. Okay. Now do the second answer. Sri Dev, what is the value of X in third third one? Third answer. Negative two. Two. Negative two. X equal to negative two. Ma'am. No. Yes. And the fourth question is that Z four Z. 4z. Four 4z four plus 3 equal to 6 plus 2. Is Second and third is over now. Fifth one. Now sixth one. 8x plus 4. 8x plus 4 is equal to 3 into x minus 1. 3 into x minus 1. Plus, plus 7. seven x equal to 4 by 5 into x plus 10. Ma'am, what is the fourth question's answer? Fourth question's answer, Abit. Abit. Ah, yes. What was the answer? Fourth one's answer. Is it equal to? Seven. Mm. Ma'am, is it three by two? Uh, yes, it is three by two. Three by two. So four is said minus two is said equal to six minus three. 
2z minus 4z minus 2z is 2z equal to 3. So z equal to 3 by 2. 4z minus 2z equal to 6 minus 3. So 2z equal to 3, z equal to 3 by 2. Lakshmi Nanda Kumar, fifth answer. Ma'am, do. Okay. Mm. Fifth one. Fifth one is it five? Five. Fifth one x equal to five because two x plus x is three x. Fourteen plus one fifteen. So x equal to fifteen by three five. Sixth answer. Nivedia, sixth one. I'm doing that. Okay, okay, do it. Four and five. Can I explain ah. fifth question? Question. Very simple question. What happened? Two x plus x equal to fourteen plus one. Three x equal to fifteen. X equal to 15 by 3. X equal to 5. Simple it is. What's the doubt with that? Collect X terms to the left side, constant to the right side. Ma'am, sixth one is it two? Sixth one, sixth answer is no. Is it 4 by 5? No. Sixth one. One second. One second. One second. Sixth one, not four by five. No, not four by five. I'm zero. Yes, it is zero. Correct. Others, check once again. Check your answers and find out where did you make mistake. Uh, where is the sixth question? Oh. Ma'am, can I explain the sixth one? Who asked this? Um, Lakshmi. Okay, Lakshmi, you say the steps. Sixth one steps. Say the steps. What are your steps? Say. Um, 8x plus mm. x. 8x plus? 8x plus? X. From where that you got that x? Hmm? Where is x? From where you got that plus x? Okay. Hmm? Is plus x is there anywhere? From where you got it, Lakshmi? Right side it is not plus x. It is 3 into x minus 1. So what is it? 3 into x minus 1 is what, Lakshmi? Hmm? It's what? Lakshmi? 3 into x minus 1 is what, Lakshmi? Lakshmi, can you hear me? Lakshmi? Are you there? No. Where is she? Lakshmi, can you hear me? Or others? What is the next step? 8x. Ma'am, 8x plus 4 equal to 3x minus 3 plus 7. 3x minus 3 plus 7. First of all, we, we have to simply uh, uh, ex uh, expand this 3 into x minus 1. Multiplication. Then... 8x 
minus 3x equal to minus 3 plus 7 minus 4. It is 0. 5x equal to 0, so x equal to 0. Question number 8. X plus 1 equal to 7x by 15 plus 3. Ninth answer. Ninth question. 9 2y plus 5 by 3. 2y plus 5 by 3 equal to 26 by 3 minus y. 26 by 3 Seven. minus. Ah, yes. 7, 30 is it? 40. Uh, 40. 7th one, uh, 40, correct. x equal to 40. 10th question, question number 10, question number 10, 3M, 3M, 3M equal to 5M minus 8 by 5, 3M equal to 5M minus 8 by 5. All of you over seventh one. Can I rub that seventh one? Any doubt in seventh one? Okay. One more question. All of you write the questions. If you didn't, uh, ah. Can you uh, say the seventh question once again? Seventh one when ask. What was the question then? X is equal to 4 by 5 into X plus 10. X plus 10. You, you can take this 5 to the numerator. Cross multiplying. So 5X equal to 4X plus 10. 4X plus 4X 10 into 4. 4 or 4 into 10. 5x minus 4x equal to 40, x equal to 40. Four by five divided by five and goes to the other side become multiplication. So it will move to the numerator. Denominator will go to the numerator when we transpose to the other side. Write the 11th question. All of you take the question and complete. Do it as homework if you didn't complete. 5x plus 7 by 2. 5x plus 7 by 2 equal to 3 by 2x minus 14. <coughs> Okay, children, do this questions completed. Hmm? Can you show ninth question? Ninth question. All of you take down the questions. Nine, ten, eleven. Two y plus five by three equal to twenty six by three y.
taught all the questions? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. okay. So, children, do these questions uh, complete it. 